morning, YouTube. Hello, hello, subscribers. Hello, friends and family. Hope all is well. Take a look behind me. John Deere, my very first John Deere load. That sun is bright and in my eyes, yikes. But anyways, this is my very first John Deere load. And I was uh, spent the weekend here in Des Moines doing my 34 hour reset. Had a great time with a bunch of subscribers. I will uh, talk about that in a later video. This video is all about this John Deere load. I could not stop thinking about it all weekend long. Apologize to those subscribers that I kept on mentioning. I've got a John Deere load for the first time. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little load securement video about this. I came here Saturday, even though it was my day off, to take a look at my trailer and take a look at my load to see what I had in store for me on Sunday morning, which today is Sunday morning. So thankfully I did do that because when I got here, Right behind me was, uh, was a uh, another TMC driver in their truck, specialized division. All only thing he does is haul John Deere loads. He uh, stopped on by when I was checking out my load, and he uh, told me how to do this. So I'm pretty confident that this is uh, all good, and uh, so much so I'm going to do a little load securement video on it. Don't know exactly what all of these things are called that's on here. Only thing I know for sure what's, what uh, the name of the stuff is, is on the very back, which you cannot see right now. But uh, I'm going to give you guys a uh, little load securement video. Let's change the uh, screen around. Hopefully it changes. There we go. All right. So this looks like a, uh, yikes, a big shovel. A big shovel that goes on the front of one of their tractors. This thing is very light, so only needs two two inch straps going over you can see it's pulling on different sides I got the ratchet on the other end on that side got the ratchet on this side here it is going through the grooves of the tr of the uh, shovel and it's going underneath these ribbons you can see it's going underneath the ribbons so I made sure to run those straps through the ribbons there all right so that's that then I got these three things, no clue, not even going to try to uh, describe what they are. All right, but all I know is I got one chain on each and I got a chain binder on each side. There's another chain binder on the other side. So three chains, six chain binders, chain binders on each side. And there is, I'm gonna, while well, I'm up here, while well, I'm here, I'm good. You could see up there, there is a little um, slot that is, that I ran the chain through, and there are some plates up there. All right, let's see if I could do this. Ugh. There we go. You're gonna run, run the chain through these grooves. Through the slots using these chain the chain plates going all the way through there all right let's move on to the next good stuff all right all right then we've got this again no clue what it is but I have two straps one here one here those are going through like a belly strap going through um, oh, what is that thing called whatever that thing is called just going through in the middle of the box and the pallet there we go in the middle of the box and the pallet I got it pulling to two separate directions got the ratchet on the other side of this and then I got the run, run ratchet right here so that's that's that then I got three going over the top of that piece of machinery um, one there one in the middle and one there um, those are also pretty much pulling in different directions for the most part this far one is pulling this away up with the ratchet. This one's pulling this away with the ratchet. The one in the middle is on the other side. Um, kind of some sharp uh, little teeth up there. Uh, thankfully, there was some uh, uh, foam um, 
going around the handles up there. I put those on those little teeth, the sharp teeth up there in between the teeth and my strap. So um, those won't, those teeth won't eat away at my strap. And here we go. This is the only thing that I know. Those are some big tractor tires. That's the only thing I know what the uh, is on my trailer. So, but this is done just like skidded coils. I got an X strap going over the top, and then uh, just one strap for down down force over the middle. Very simple. Very simple. And I'm so excited. This is my, did I tell you guys this is my first John Deere load? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. John Deere's a big thing to uh, TMC. Huge, huge account. Very, very valuable account. Thank you so much, John Deere. And thank you so much, TMC. I am very, very excited. So there is the continued uh, X-strap on the other side here. So that is stopping forward movement. That is stopping backward movement. That is uh, getting some downforce pressing down. So those tires aren't going anywhere. None of this stuff is going anywhere other than to Mississippi with me from uh, Des Moines, Iowa. So there we go, you guys. That is how you do it. You can see the chain binders on this side here. And there we go. Well, we are all, well, we, me, I'm all set. It is a, uh, a wonderful day. I'm excited to get this week started. Um, and yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you subscribers for hitting that subscribe button. And I really hope whenever you guys get a load like this, this video will help you out. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Take care and smile. You got a great one.